Hi everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Tasha and I'm back with another video. 2023 just did not start out the way that I really planned it. It started off with me just being extremely sick and just not as motivated with it. With me, like I remember just walking off 2022 for the most part, not being as motivated as I wanted it to be because I just dashed it all away because things were just not going to plan. So I decided that I will start implementing certain habits before 2023 even came about. Because of that, I was able to just hop right back on my task because I was already doing these things before the year started. Now, if you're one of those people where you live in like a colder climate like me, the winter and just the coldness is just not as motivating. So remember, even if you weren't able to start your goals already when the year started, there is a reset like in spring when the weather starts getting a little better. It might be a little bit more motivating for you. And don't like take it so hard on yourself. Use this time right now to plan for like a better quarter, I would say. So I just decided that, you know what? I wanna share some habits with you guys that have been really able to help me out. These habits really have elevated my mind. They just have really taught me to just not give up on myself because it's so easy, especially with social media and just everything going on around us to just fall off and not reach levels that we really want to reach and just be closer to your goals so if you about that make sure you stick around for all of these tips habits oh everything that i'm going to list because they all align with each other i feel like me being in my 30s i'll just be like yo i wish i knew some of the things that i do now when i had my first child when i was in my early 20s because i know like i would have reached certain places but you know everything happens for a reason god has his plan and i'm not going to question it and i'm just going to keep going so with that said let's head into these tips because we gonna be better okay, so for my first tip i want to tell you guys to have a proper sleep schedule now your girl is a mom i work i need to be up at a certain hour so that i'm able to get my work done and you'll be surprised that when you wake up early you'll realize the day is actually going by properly if i'm gonna say that right if you're a person that likes to stay up late and likes to think a lot and you're not getting a lot done in the day maybe it's because you just need to go to bed a little bit more earlier turn off that phone get off of social media and relax and just plan out your day and maybe that means getting up earlier and starting it earlier another tip that's been able to help me and has helped me pretty much my whole life and i've been doing more of it is journaling because sometimes you just want to get those thoughts out you just have so many ideas and if you don't write them down you may forget those ideas and then <laughs> there goes everything also just writing down my feelings and just life-changing quotes just things to uplift me maybe you're not a person who likes to write maybe you want to record i know in my phone there's like a voice memo or you can just talk on it and just say how your day is going and how you would like to set goals and just be a better person and always date it because i like to go back and always see like oh my gosh this is how i was such and such date like six months ago and look where i am now if you're looking for somewhere that you can just spill all the beans to getting a journal i like to just get a very nice motivating journal i like to go to places like for example michael's where i can just look at like the whole section and be like just be drawn to the cover of a journal or a book i know it might just sound a little crazy but because i've been journaling for such a long time just the look and the aesthetic of the book just creates the whole mood so just maybe get out and go look at different options of a journal that just may inspire you to just start writing and you never know it can possibly really help you out another um habit that i feel like is so important i notice if i don't do this 
my day just completely sucks so i make sure that i do this every morning and that is to make your bed when you get up and you make your bed you're setting the tone of getting things done properly and just organized so yes making your bed very important and the earlier you get up and the more refreshed you feel the more you're actually gonna actually remember and it's not gonna be something where you have to be like oh my gosh I have to make my bed no it's just gonna come naturally another habit that I've changed and I had to just do regardless if I wanted to do it or not was to get up and stretch because your girl is getting older and my muscles are just not as strong as they used to be if one thing i remember being in gym class and i remember my gym teacher she would do some stretches she like doing these like neck stretches like this and i remember she taught us to not go all the way around and i just remember watching her like girl like this isn't doing anything for me but now as i get older i'm like oh my gosh why didn't she tell me that i'm gonna need this later on in life like i'm probably not gonna need that in grade 9 10 but when i get older and start having kids and my body just starts you know aching maybe even do a little bit of exercising just being more flexible with your body because your joints i don't know if, if this is the right term but they can like seize up on you and if you ain't feeling good muscle wise you're not gonna want to get up and do certain things in your day so just waking up and having a little routine where you do a little stretching and thing like that can be very helpful throughout your day trust me it really helps me i ain't as stiff as i used to really helped me out is doing more reading i notice that sometimes i'll be like you know what i'm off gonna watch this show today on my free time i'm actually gonna do some reading and it's helped my growth it's helped my vocabulary it's helped me just understand things way better if it's one thing i used to go to church a lot and for me i'm a very godly person i love god i just trust god a lot and i'm very close to him but i noticed in church i wasn't as close and that's because i didn't really understand reading more has really helped me just draw closer to god and that is just something that has meant so much to me one book that has really helped me a lot was by joyce myers do it afraid because i noticed that even with doing this it's i have so much anxiety and i let my fears hold me back a lot and in that book it covers a lot of scriptures and it helps me understand the bible more and it helps me get closer to god so it was one thing i really appreciate with myself was just taking time to read and educate myself and just be better just be a better person overall so find books that you know you can understand and you can relate to and that can really help you and while well, joyce myers has really helped me i love the way that she writes i love how she puts her stories together it's just very motivating so yes reading major key it's really powerful too. another tip or habit that could really help you would be to be a healthier eater and that also go goes with drinking healthier options sugary drinks are just not good for me i like to drink more water i like to juice my drinks i know that when i eat healthier my body just feels so much better because what you put on the inside really reflects on the outsides if you juice like your vegetables and your fruits and you just eat more healthier options you may notice a difference in your mood and just the way you deal with people in general so yes eating healthier options has really really been life changing for me and just really has helped me just be more calm i have a video that i posted some grocery tips where one of them was talking about eating um, cooking your meals from home so if you cook your meals from home you're gonna have less unhealthy products and unhealthy um, ingredients in there just try to put healthier options in your body and just see how your mood is you know another tip this is just so important for anybody and that is to have positive people around you and in your life if there's people around you that are not going to motivate you to even be a better person and just watch you slack off and encourage it or don't even try to lift you up from it or notice it and be like okay so i noticed that you didn't go to the gym this week what's going on if they're just ignoring things like that that are making you better even for me for example i didn't even post for a while because i've been so 
I've been I've been in a funk. I've just been in like this weird mood on top of it. I've also just not been feeling well and because I wasn't feeling well, it just didn't motivate me to like get what I had to do done. And I was noticing like nobody like even cared. Not that they had to, but my brother did call me. He noticed that his sis was just not her regular self and i appreciate things like that and i appreciate people like that people who will check on you when you're not even being your true self they're just watching you slack but when you're all good and good and whatever they're there by your corner but what about when i ain't good like where where, where are you oh well, just have people who are going to uplift you who are going to extend a hand or an ear when you need it positive vibes positive energy only people that you know have the same life goals that you want even if they don't have the same goals as you just have a drive have a purpose in their life because if you're chilling with somebody who likes to do all the negative things guess what more times that's gonna be you but yeah be mindful of who is around you and i don't care who that is like these days i don't care who you be like you could be even family i cut off a lot of family long time ago because i'm just like but even your own family sometimes has it out for you and you just gotta be mindful of that i don't care I don't care who I have to cut off. Make sure that you cut off the loose ends, cut off the the negative vibes, cut off the people who do not want to see good happen for you. There is no time to waste with people who don't deserve your energy. And I believe I got good energy. And I don't feel like everybody deserves a piece of that. With that said, the next tip I'm gonna give you that is to take it one step at a time. I noticed that with me this was a very 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 and still is an issue that I'm working on because I will get so overwhelmed that I'm like I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do this and I have to do that and I'll be just jumping and jumping and doing everything where I'm getting nothing done pace yourself don't be so hard on yourself if you actually just take it easy you'll notice you'll probably get more done than you would be if you're just fretting on everything and wondering how am I gonna get everything done. Just step back, especially if you notice that you're getting very overwhelmed, step back a bit. And I notice what I would do is if I'm just really, really overwhelmed, is I would read. Like I would say, I would pick up a book, read like a chapter or two, get back down to my space, and then I would write it down. Like I would say like journal, just write down what I gotta do and I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna do this and if I don't get it done today I'm gonna get it done tomorrow at least give myself that little stretch and at least it's done as opposed to going through the whole week and not getting anything done you're gonna make mistakes but picking yourself up from it and pacing yourself is very important to even being consistent with yourself and reaching your goals with that said leads me to my next tip which is to reward yourself for your big as well as small accomplishments so much times you'll be getting stuff done and you'll be so proud of yourself but you don't even take the time to reward yourself and that doesn't mean like spending a load of money on yourself and just like doing the most but at least you can be like wow i'm so glad that i did this let me go get a massage just to relax myself treat myself to a new book to motivate myself let me go get my nails done my last tip find your purpose and if you have already found that put 110 percent into that now we may have lives where we can't even put our mind and our whole self into our purpose of what we really want to do i had to cut off a lot of people but there were people that you know weren't really adding value to my life anyways so instead of like hanging out here and watching this netflix series i say netflix was like i don't know what else anybody watching like hulu but just cutting off certain things that were not helping me get to my goals and just use that time to focus on what i gotta do find your purpose put 110 percent into it and do that thing do that thing even days when you feel discouraged write it down journal it 
reevaluate, talk to that person who motivates you, hang out with people who are going to help you achieve those goals and just make you feel like yourself again. Those are my tips to help you in 2023 so that you, as well as myself, can be a better person and we can get our goals achieved because we can. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as comment down below. What are some of the goals that you've been working on? Just, you know, say hi in the comments. Share this video because there may be somebody out there that you may know that also needs a little bit of motivation because sometimes you don't even know. Your happy friends that are just smiling all the time are the ones that are the most down. You just never know you know stay motivated stay positive i love you guys so much until next time bye guys